at 13 years old, you know, I played the longer game because my game wasn't about being better than you at 13. It was to be better than you when you know the chips are really on on the line. For entrepreneurship, for life, there aren't as many rules. You get to play forever. I heard a lot of people say, triple down on this, triple down on most of your strength. Yeah. No, 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 no. Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Kobe Bryant. Also, if you want to have more confidence, check out my 254 series. They're free. The links to join are in the description below. Or to go play someplace else to try to chase a championship. That's not me, man. That's not, being, that's not what my career has been about. There are certain things that we want to get to, but we have to pace those out because we have to have absolute focus. At 13 years old, you know, I played the longer game because my game wasn't about being better than you at 13. It was to be better than you when you know, the chips are really on, on the line. So when we played at 13, I would size you up and see what your strengths and weaknesses are. How do you approach the game? Are you silly about it? Are you goofy about it? Are you good at it just because you're bigger and stronger than everybody else? Right? Or is there actually thought and skill that you put into it? Right? And when I'd play, I'd play to my weaknesses. I wouldn't play to my strengths. I played to my weaknesses. Because when you're playing summer basketball, there's so many games. So there's not a lot of skill work being done. So when are you going to get better? Right? When you're playing in competition situations, you're only playing to your strengths. Why? Because you want to win. Right? So what I would do, I was work on the things during those games that I was weak at. Left hand, pull up jump shot, uh, post game. Right? So I have a strategy. And so then fast forward to when I'm 17 and my game is completely well rounded and that player at 13 that I saw at 13 is still doing the same at 17. Mm. Now you got a problem. That's right. Working on your weaknesses is great advice in basketball, but sucks for entrepreneurship because there's no such thing as a complete player in entrepreneurship. There's too many things to learn. This is the difference between the finite game and the infinite game. If you're familiar with Simon Sinek's work, the finite game is when you're playing a game where there are certain rules. Basketball has certain rules, right? Basketball, Kobe's on the floor for a certain amount of time in every game. You can't just have somebody come in and come out. If you bring somebody in, Kobe's got to come out. You can only have five players on your team at a time. There's a certain number of minutes in a quarter, right? There's rules. For entrepreneurship, for life, there aren't as many rules. You get to play forever. In entrepreneurship, if you are the world's greatest jump shot shooter, right, take that equivalent, you're, you're a billionaire. You don't have to go learn the other things. And it's in your best interest not to. For you to be great at one thing, but then also go learn websites and also go learn coding and also go learn copywriting and also go learn speaking and also go learn video editing and also go... There's too many things. And you'll at best become average at all those things. So you're a complete average person. Entrepreneurship is the opposite. What you want to do is find a thing that you could be the Kobe Bryant of. You are the best in the world at something. You're the best in the world at something. Something in demand, something in need, something where you can help people. And then go all in on that. So it's got to be that combination of what you love doing with what there is demand for. Right? So right now, I'm here in Puerto Rico. I spoke at Brendan Burchard's event, the Mastermind Group. And I was talking about YouTube and how I've had success with YouTube and how you can too. It's a valuable skill. One, I love it. It's fun. It, it, it gets me excited working on YouTube videos. But I also love spreading the message because I see in thought leaders, I see in you, I see in you the opportunity to have your message get out into the world to impact so many people. You don't need somebody to put you on. You don't need to have a movie studio. You don't need to be on TV anymore. You don't need to have a book anymore. 
you have a great message, you can get discovered. I, I think what, what would have happened if Martin Luther King had YouTube? Can you imagine? So I love YouTube because it levels the playing field, because it gives you an opportunity, it gives me an opportunity, where you might not have been born into one. It's also, though, something that's in high demand. So many people want to get great at it. So many people have a message to spread. So many people are tired of spending money on ads that aren't working. So many people want to have content that lives forever. They're trying to build a brand forever. And so that combination works. That's why I'm here. So if you want to win in entrepreneurship, you don't focus on your weaknesses. You focus on your strengths. And then you hire for your weaknesses. You find the people around you. So you can build a complete company, but that you're not doing everything yourself. So it starts with identifying what you love, then identifying how you can use what you love to serve other people and help them and bring value to them because the number one rule of making money is if you bring people value, you'll get paid. And then three is having the courage to go all in on it. And when your parents or your friends or the people around you tell you to work on your weaknesses, you don't. You work on the strengths. And so you have to understand what game you're playing. If you're playing a game with set rules, set structure, set system, then yeah, you work on your weaknesses because otherwise you're gonna lose. You have to work within the rules of the game that you're playing. But if you're playing an infinite game with no rules or very few of them, then you can do what you want. Focus on your strengths because that's when ultimately you'll get the most leverage, the most upside, and the most wins. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that question of the day, I wanna know what is your greatest strength? What do you have Kobe Bryant level talent at? What is that thing? Let me know, put it down in the comments below. And if you're still here, you're watching this video, you made it this far, I wanna celebrate you. Give me a hashtag, believe in the comments as well. If you're fat and you look in the mirror and you say, wow, I eat a little too much. No, you're fat. My exoskeleton is larger than yours. Right, no. <laughs> that's the new one, right? Yeah, that's the, I mean, you, <laughs> you cannot say that to yourself. No. But see, you have to make a list yeah. of the things that you don't like to do. Mm -hmm. This list should be very long. Like, if you don't like making calls. Yeah, yep. The very first thing you should do is start making a calls. Yep. Because why? That begins to own you. Yes. You start to drive yourself this way versus this way. Yes. It, but you'll figure out, if you start making a whole bunch of calls, if you like calling, call a lot. Yeah. Guess what happens? You get over it. You get over it. So what we do a lot is, I, I heard a lot of people say, triple down on this, triple down on most of your strength. Yeah. No, 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 no. That works for a lot of things. But when you're afraid and you don't have the courage, mm -hmm. you have to triple down on your weaknesses and make that become where you start to guide yourself. Okay, I don't like calling, today I'm making 100 calls. Yeah. I'm gonna dial 100 times. If you wanna know how Kobe Bryant raises his standards, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. So I don't care if you're here in the office at 6 a.m. and you leave at midnight. If the work that you do is average, then this is not the home for you.